Hey guys, it's MJ. I wanted to film a quick video for you guys. We were going into the time of year where my day job kind of turns into an all-the-time job. So uh, sometimes I gotta get my makeup on pretty fast and get the hell out of the house. So uh, I'm gonna show you what I do for my quick, let's get moving, let's get out of here makeup, and uh, let's get started. The first and most vital part of this makeup look is Princess Tiara and a hot beverage. So uh, you cannot do any of these steps without these two. So if you need to dig through all of your old pageant stuff to find a runner's up tiara, get on that shit. And uh, hot cocoa coffee or tea can work or even hot lemonade. But if you don't have these, you absolutely cannot do this tutorial. Just stop, pause, go get your stuff and come on back when you're ready to play. Totally kidding, um, just was happened to be cleaning and it's late and I gotta go to work early, early, early tomorrow morning and uh, found one of my old tiaras and I was like, I'm a fucking princess, let's do this shit. So this part's a little bit of a hack just as much as it is something that I actually do. Recently I've been using the NYX Dark Circle Concealer mixed with a little bit of the Tarte Maracuja Oil that I got in one of my recent beauty boxes whoa it's like the perfect combination for get out the house so i've just put a few drops of that into the foundation i just bought a new one which is the first thing i did i opened it up oil right into it and i just popped this with a flat brush underneath my eyes in a triangular pattern. Now, when I'm trying to get out of the house, I will oftentimes not do a full face of foundation because ain't nobody got time for that shit. So I pretty much just put it on my chin, my forehead, and under my eyes. And this is because this oil is really hydrating, but it also allows the concealer to kind of stay on a little bit longer because my skin's not flaking off underneath it super attractive. Damp Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to get all of that in and pat it down nicely. Now sometimes if like right now I got a lot of dark circles going on, which I definitely will have tomorrow morning, I just do a second layer just under my eyes with the dark circle concealer. I like the NYX one because I don't find that it oxidizes really pink, where a lot of them have a tendency to do that. The next thing I'm doing is I am taking one of my flat toothbrush brushes and some powder. This is Mary Kay shade Ivory One in the All Over My Brush Powder Foundation. It's their mineral one. I like this brush because it covers a lot of area in not a lot of time. So it's very quick to use. And if you use it with a nice light hand, like I'm not jamming it into my face, I'm just lightly pressing down. That is gonna really set everything, but it also doesn't seem to run the product around a lot, which is pretty cool. Now I do not contour on the days that I am trying to get out of the house. It just of all the things you come to this channel for, the contour game is not it. What I do do is I take this Wet n Wild Apricot in the middle. It is technically their blush. However, it has this super amazing gold shimmer to it. And I take a little on the brush and really high and far back on my cheekbones. It gives a nice shimmer without going over the top with just a little bit of color. So it doubles as both a blush and a highlight, which is awesome. You want things that multitask when you're trying to get out of the house. I absolutely cannot brag enough about these e.l.f. brow pencils that have the little spoolie built right into them. Amazing for double time. This one is in their medium to dark brown shade. And I'm just going underneath my eyebrows to create that line, shaping the tail and just filling in the areas of my natural brow that are a little on the sparse side. Once I have them filled in, I'm taking the spoolie end 
and I'm brushing that product into my brows to create a really nice soft effect. I don't care for a harsh brow. So up and out. Another fun little hack is I've taken scotch tape and I've lined it from the outer corner of my eye up to the tail of my eyebrow. And I'm first gonna be taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and just touching a little bit on that side, outer corner, and it's okay if you go over the tape. Now I'm gonna take my fingers, keeping the tape down nice and smooth, and just kind of spread that inwards. That's gonna create a darker color base for me. So when I put on my eyeshadows, I already have a smoky corner. When you're trying to GTFO, one of the best things you can do is get yourself one palette that has all the colors that you need in it. I am using the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher palette right now. It's just really inexpensive. Uh, I think it's $7 or so and you get eight colors. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to be going in with a dome top brush and this really dark purple right here. I'm gonna take that brush, scrub it off on a tissue to clean it up. And now I'm taking the lilac shade right above that. It has a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. And I'm gonna pop that all on the lid. Now at this point, I've got my outer corner nice and sharp. So I'm gonna peel off the scotch tape for that nice clean line. And using that same brush that I just did the lilac with, I'm gonna start blending everything in. So I went in, I blended both of those colors so that they went all the way up to the brow bone and all the way to the inner corner. And what I'm doing now is with my finger, I'm gonna take this white shade and tap it right under my brow bone. And with the pearly pink shade, I'm gonna take this and pop it on my inner corner. And lower eyelid. I find that even if you don't have a lot of time, having that little pop of color on the lower eyelid makes it look like you spent a lot of time and effort because a lot of people are just not willing to take that extra step. And taking that one tiny little extra second to do that makes it look like you put a lot of effort into your work with you actually not having to go out and really push yourself with it. It's great to push yourself with makeup sometimes, but rushing out of the house is not that time. You don't wanna be stressed, try to create something elaborate, and then just total fail it and end up having to do nothing at all. So I'm just making sure there's no lines up under my brow and gently running it where I used my finger to apply that lower shadow. I'm gonna show you another little hack here. These are the Slide On, Glide On, definitely a turn on waterproof eyeliners from NYX. I have the color Purple Blaze and just the plain Jet Black. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that Jet Black, now I'm gonna line right at that lash line, okay? But I'm not gonna wing up because I'm gonna take a little skinny brush and go like this. And that is gonna take that black liner because it's still a little damp from being put on and it's gonna wing it out along the sharp edge that you use the tape to create. Now with the purple blaze here. Just like I talked about putting that little bit of shadow on the lower lid really makes it look, pop and makes it look like you put a lot of effort into it. I'm doing my waterline and lower lashes with this deep purple color. 
Another bonus is that if you do have watery eyes like I often have, instead of those watery eyes dragging black down onto your lower lids, it's gonna drag purple down and just make it look like more of a smoky purple eye. So uh, future proofing. And you could do this with any color. I'm just doing purple because my eyeshadow is also purple right now. So next I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Angel Mascara. This, I have uh, been trying it out. I've got some mixed feelings about it. I love the wand. I think the wand is really cool, but I have not yet successfully put this on without stabbing myself in the contact lens. So you're supposed to take the flared out end and put it towards the outside of the lashes and the skinny lens towards the inside of your eye and get all your lashes like sucked up into this little comb and just comb them out. But since I'm used to a spoolie style, I keep stabbing myself in the face with it. But it's great for like lower lashes because it's super defining. Um, the claim is, is that they will make you look like you have falsies on. The claim is wrong. Nothing makes you look like you have falsies on unless you have, you know, falsies on. Um, I've seen a couple of YouTubers push this. Uh, I don't know if they were paid. Their opinions are not the same as mine when it comes to this one. Uh, it's cool. It does give you really defined lashes. It does not make it look like you have falsies on. It is not a hundred times easier to use. It's just a neat revolutionary style of brush that with a little bit of practice, you can get a really defined extended length lash. The formula is nice and it comes in a waterproof, which I appreciate because I only do waterproof. I have contacts and I just destroy my contacts if I don't have a waterproof mascara on. So uh, eyes are done. I am a huge fan of the Stila, Stila, whatever they pronounce it with, Stay All Lay Liquid Lipstick. Um, I've recently bought a little trio from Birchbox in trial sizes. This is Aria. It's like um, a berry. It was in their nudes kit. This is not a nude, but I really like the color. This, this shit stays on. Like once it's on, it's a forever, it's a commitment in your life. You're going to be wearing it all day, whether you like it or not. So pick a color you like, because it's forever. all over my teeth like a boss a toothy boss <sighs> very last step and this is very important it's one extra second taking a setting spray you are going to coach yourself like you never want this come off like you're going through the apocalypse because then no matter what happens you're out of the house it's drying and you don't have to worry about shit because your makeup setting spray is gonna hold it down. It's all gluing it in. However, I have been wrong recently. Recently, I have been spraying and then using my stippling brush to kind of tap away the droplets. Stop doing that. If you were doing that, I was wrong. I was an idiot. No more. Spray, leave it alone. It's gonna mat down. If it does leave big go goblets, because it's, it's shitty setting spray, not because you're doing it wrong. So uh, I use Ulta's makeup setting spray and I picked up a trial size of the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is my day to day. I really love it. The Ulta one is just nice if I need like that extra coat or if I'm doing glitter. This stuff seals glitter down on your eyes. So uh, glitter spray approved, but there's no glitter today. So I'd be using my Urban Decay and uh, boosting it out of the house. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. This is my go-to get out of the house, super, super fast makeup look. As you can see, I look professional and work ready without going over the top and without spending my entire life sitting at my makeup desk. I really appreciate you guys coming by. I hope you have a beautiful day. Stay beautiful inside and on the outside. And uh, like, share, subscribe, put me on Facebook, tag me on Instagram. I am Broomstick88 and I am always happy to have you here. Thank you so much and uh, 
Look forward to more videos and check out my own videos because I got a few up there, especially my uh, hard candy trolls review. Holy shit. You guys clickety clicked the shit out of that stuff. That's awesome. Thank you. I didn't know you would like it that much. And uh, if that is something that you like and you want to see more of, tell me because I am all over that. Like you want to go click crazy and grab a whole bunch of stuff and watch me put on makeup and be silly. I'll do that any day. So um, go check that out. The, it's probably linked below me somewhere. And uh, have a fabulous day. Bye. So I'm uh, trying to finish up my video here, get some glamour shots, and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm gonna head to bed. And um, this happened. This is now a permanent attachment of my hair. And it lives there forever. And I shall now be known as a superhero, Tierra Head. So uh, hashtag Tierra Head because it's never.